What's up, Internet? Welcome back to another episode of What I Learned This Week. It's really just a vlog show that I use to make my life sound more interesting. Getting a move on. So I'm at work the other day, and someone who works a shift before me did the most peculiar thing I've ever seen. We're contracted employees, so we don't have any special setups. Someone actually took a piece of paper and taped a dime to it and labeled it lost and found. Seriously. Seriously? Yes. A dime of all things. Not a coat, not a phone, a dime. Needless to say, I'm already surrounded by stupid people when I go to school. But this person just won first prize. Okay, next up. About two months ago, I posted a comment on a YouTube video about a UFO. I tend to get lost on YouTube watching alien conspiracies and stuff like that. What the video had was something floating around in the water and they called it a UFO. I wrote a comment just to point out that, you know, the F in UFO actually stands for flying. That was a bad decision because I did not realize the repercussions of posting anything like that. Over the last two months, I have received numerous replies and not just like a small amount, like 20 replies of people who are just retorting with really smart ass remarks, such as, the F in UFO could stand for floating. Thanks, tips. Last thing I want to talk about, for those of you watching this who don't really know me, I attend post-secondary. And if you've ever attended post-secondary, you know that textbooks are bloody expensive. And then, at the end of the semester or the end of the year, you go and try and get some money back for them, and you get the equivalent of half a tank of gas. This really frustrates me, because some of the books that I get, I don't even open. It ends up being an enormous waste of money. It really bothers me that textbooks go out of date faster than an open pack of sandwich meat. I can picture it in my head right now. A bunch of people sitting at a table writing a textbook. And their thinking, isn't the information that we need already in the previous version? And then one of them pipes up and says, Oh, totally, but what we decided to make some more money is switch the chapters around. And that's all the new editions really are. Like this video if you agree with me. If you liked the video, feel free to check out any of the other things that I've posted and subscribe. I'm Garrett Pace one and this is what I learned this week.